I'm Jeremy Bennett. I'm Chief Executive of Embercosm. We specialize in developing open source compilers and models of silicon chips. Next month, we'll be starting a research project funded by Innovate UK, the UK government's research agency. We'll be taking ideas from academia on how you write secure code and incorporating those within compilers to help professional engineers write the very best secure code. The focus for this project is very much the Internet of Things, smaller, simpler, connected devices. We've seen from the MyRA botnet and the distributed denial of service attack of the 21st of October 2016, how vulnerable we can be when large numbers of internet connected devices are used to mount an attack. Thus, security becomes important as we get large numbers of these devices, and particularly when we think that some of them are things like bank cards on which we trust our financial security. The attacks we saw last year were quite simple in nature, but we can expect much more sophisticated attacks. We know how to defend these. They're taught in security classes in software engineering courses, but it does take considerable professional skill to apply these techniques. And the objective of this project is to make it easier for the professional engineer to apply such techniques and write really secure code. Security is very much a system-wide issue and you can't look at one bit of a system in isolation. And from the software perspective, that means you have to look at the whole of the software. And the compiler is uniquely positioned because it's the one tool that you have to put all your software through. So it's able to take a system-wide look at how security is acting within your program. The compiler can help in two ways. The first is to warn of what looks like bad practice. Things like using critical variables to control the flow through the program, thereby making it vulnerable to uh, differential power analysis attacks. And the second way is to help in writing secure code by applying some techniques that written by hand are quite laborious and complex. The compiler can help automate that to make it easier to adopt such secure techniques. I mentioned information leakage, and this is the idea that you can learn important aspects of secure information from the way a program behaves. This is a long understood issue. It happened in the Second World War when Japanese uh, high command were sending messages to ships about their attack plans, but different sorts of plans were sent from different transmitting masts. And the US Navy learned by watching where a message was sent from, it could glean information about the type of attack being planned. Similarly, in a program, depend, if it depends on critical variables, how fast the program runs may indicate the particular value of a variable, such as a password. And that's called information leakage. Um, and it's what we try and stop. I've mentioned information leakage through execution time. There are lots of other ways information leakage can be detected, for example, by accessing memory um, uh, and so forth. But we'll be looking at a wider range of techniques. We'll be looking at balancing programs so that flow through the program takes exactly the same time, whatever path you follow through the program. We'll be looking at techniques like bit splicing, which help to break up operations so they're harder to work out what is going on. And throughout this one year project, we'll be working with our academic colleagues to identify other techniques that could be incorporated uh, in the compiler to help the programmer. Our work is going to be led by Dr. Graham Markle, one of our senior uh, compiler experts. He'll be assisted by uh, at least one PhD intern over the program. And that PhD intern will bring their research expertise into Embercosm and will learn our industrial and commercial expertise in compiler development and take that back into the university. We'll be developing these techniques for both GCC and LLVM. We'll be developing them to work with ARM processors and with the RISC-V processors, both popular architectures 
in small embedded devices and the Internet of Things. We'd love to hear from anyone interested in this. Uh, you can contact us through our email and, and our website, but we'll also be at major conferences. We'll be at things like the GNU Tools Cauldron, we'll be at FOSDEM, we'll be at the LLVM Developers Meeting. Uh, so we'd welcome any feedback you have to help us advance this project.